On October 31st, 2020, the musical world lost a beloved performer, mentor, colleague, and friend. Here at the University of Ottawa, the students and colleagues of Johannes and Eric felt a profound and painful loss. Across the globe, former students and collaborators shared memories, photos, and musical experiences on social media. Colleagues from Johannes's past teaching universities, McGill and the University of Michigan, wrote to share condolences and memories. Far and wide, musicians came together to reflect on his brilliance, sensitivity, and humor. Johannes's music reach was wide. He had an impact on young violinists from around the world. At the University of Ottawa, I had the privilege of witnessing his tireless commitment to community building and musical development. He not only set the highest standards for performance quality, but also for generosity and kindness. In offering this musical tribute, it is both heartrending and comforting to celebrate Johannes's musical life by sharing some of his own performances as well as recordings featuring students and colleagues. In addition to his music, I hope you will enjoy hearing some personal reflections from a gathering of friends. We will begin with a recording created for this occasion by Yosuke Kawasaki, Jessica Lindebach, and Sean Rice of the National Arts Centre Orchestra. Thank you for joining us in this musical remembrance of Big Y.
I had the privilege of being among Jonathan's first crop of students at McGill University. I was 17 and he was in his mid-twenties. Even at the time, I realized how lucky we were to have such a young and vital professor, someone who demonstrated on stage and in life everything that he was teaching us about violin in the studio. He was my first and only postgraduate violin prof, and I just assumed that everyone was as dedicated, as supportive, and as caring as Jonathan. He spent hours of extra time helping us with our struggles, both in the violin and with life in general. I still look back on those lessons in various different rooms in the Strathcona Music Building when I teach today, thinking what Jonathan might have said to help me, or what demonstration might have served to help a young violinist trying to figure things out. After I graduated, Mr. Barrick invited me to perform a two-violin recital with him at McGill, a concert that turned out to be one of the highlights of my professional career. During rehearsal, he turned to me and said how glad he was to be done teaching me, and as I struggled to respond, he followed up with, now we're allowed to play together as colleagues. And we did, for 20 more years. A few years later, we recorded a disc of two violin music together with one track that featured a number of our current and former students, already three generations of musicians in one room, and he would not even have turned 40 yet. This is just one of the legacies that Jonathan has left us all. Here's a track from that recording, Aldo by Luciano Berrio. We miss you, Big Y.
I met Yohanatan in 2002 when we came to the University of Michigan to start our respective jobs there. And how lucky was I? You know, as the new guys coming in at the same time, we were asked to do a bunch of things together like a Bach double with the University Orchestra, Muskowski duo, lots of chamber projects. And how fortunate for me to to be able to play all of this music with someone like Yohanatan. It was so much fun. Uh, he was such a great fiddle player and a great musician. He loved chamber music. He was also a truly good colleague. He was passionate, yet kind and generous. Um, and over the years, he became a dear friend. And I guess along with the shock and frankly, some anger and sorrow, I also feel gratitude. Either one of us could have not come to Ann Arbor that year, and I can't be sure that I ever would have met Yohanatan, gotten to make music with him, um, had a chance to become his friend. The last time I saw Yohanatan was just over a year ago in the summer of 2019. Um, my wife and I had been in the Chester Quartet for many years, and we miss string quartets every day. So um, we decided to put together a quartet concert, um, the program being Ravel String Quartet and uh, the Beethoven's Quartet Opus 131. This is a really massive, difficult program, um, and we didn't have much time to rehearse. So what could go wrong? And then it became clear to us that if we could get Yohanatan on board, it would all be worth it. And fortunately, it, it worked. It happened. So again, I'm grateful to have had the chance to see him, to play with him, and to laugh with him one last time. Hi, my name is Avery Morris, and I studied with Yohanatan from 2018 to 2020 at UOttawa. I met Yohanatan at Banff um, in 2016 in the master class program, and then I followed him the next summer to Orford, and then the next summer to Orford again. Um, at Orford, he created the most amazing community in the studio of, of violinists, and, um, and watching him teach um, the master classes was just so inspiring. He was almost like a ma magician. <laughs> um, he could say one word or give one gesture and it would completely change how um, how a performer would would play the same passage. And over the two week span um, of Orford that summer, it was just incredible to see how much progress <laughs> some of these students made in just two weeks. I was really astounded and I decided to, to pursue my master's at UOttawa and study with Yohanchen. Um, and it was just one of the best experiences and, and decisions I've ever made. Um, this, this loss is a really big one and, um, and it's not easy for a lot of us um, who, who knew him really well. But I think that it's really amazing to see how much of an effect he had on so many generations of musicians um, and how far his generosity and kindness and humor went <laughs> and how many lives he touched. Um, so I feel really grateful um, to have had the time that I had with him. Um, and I hope that his teachings survive many, many decades to come. I'm sure they will. A teacher, a mentor, and a friend, Johanna Tenberg was someone we all looked up to, literally. A giant of a man with a booming voice, yet underneath all of this was a playful, kind, and compassionate soul who would do just about anything for anyone. When COVID forced us all to stay at home past the end of the school year, 
Yohanneton took this as an opportunity to offer free lessons to anyone who desired. Quoting the stand-up comedian himself, During the apocalypse, I am Mother Teresa, only better at violin. And none of this could be closer to the truth. It was his wit, his endless humor, and his generosity which made the most difficult of times somewhat enjoyable. As a teacher, his ingenuity compared to that of his musical genius. He worked tirelessly to find a new solution to each problem with a personalized approach for each student, and always full of far-fetched yet incredibly useful metaphors. Working with students of all different ages and playing levels, Johannington treated each student as equal, and by doing so he instilled confidence and belonging and gave a voice to each student he worked with. It was with this that he built a musical community that allowed and encouraged for people to grow, to form friendships, and above all, to make beautiful music. Although his passing pains us all, he continues to bring us together through laughter, tears, memories, and the collective enjoyment of his wonderfully silly YouTube videos and Facebook posts. Thank you, Johannaton, for everything that you've done for each and every one of us. You will be remembered, and you will be missed.
Jonathan Barrick was a bridge builder, and I don't mean the kind of bridge that's on the violin. He just brought people together. And I met him through an organization that builds bridges. It's the Canada Israel Cultural Foundation. We brought Canadian artists to Israel and Israeli artists here. And when he was about maybe 19 or 20, we brought him to Ottawa. And when he walked in, I thought to myself, he's a big guy. He should be playing the double bass. Well, he picked up the violin. And right away, the sweetness of the sound, the virtuosity of a young man, and the joy he gave in playing and for us to listen to him, it was, it was really quite awesome. That's the use of the word. He was fun. He was brilliant. He was a joy to be with. He brought life to every group that he participated in, and the university was thrilled to have him here. Um, we send our deepest condolences to his parents and the family and all the musicians throughout the world who loved uh, Yohanatan. He will be missed. He was very special. And rest in peace. We were glad you were here.